Products is your tool to keep track of the inputs in your operation. Products in Operations Center Web displays an active and historical record of your varieties, chemicals, fertilizers, tank mixes, and dry blends. Setting up your products online will allow you to plan field work ahead of time and improve the quality of your documentation data. This foundational setup step will also save you and your team from having to spend extra time to manually enter chemicals, fertilizers, seed varieties, and other inputs in the cab. The following access levels are needed to view or make edits to any product, tank mix, or dry blend. These access levels are set up in Team in Operations Center. In this video, we will cover how to add, edit, and archive products, tank mixes, and dry blends. Navigate to the Products tool by going to the Setup menu. Within Products, you will find five different tabs where your products, tank mixes, and dry blends are found, as shown on screen. Products also provides many different filtering and sorting options that allows you to easily narrow down the list of products you would like to see. You may use the search feature to find a particular product or filter by crop type, manufacturer, and more. Search results are displayed in the product list. The products list has headings that allow you to sort by product name, manufacturer, date, and more for easy analysis. Let's review how to add a new product. In this example, we will add a new chemical. Depending on your location, a pre-populated library of manufacturers may be available. If the manufacturer you are looking for is not in the list or the list is not available, you may add the chemical as a custom product. The chemical registration number automatically adds from the library if it's available. You also have the option to manually enter a registration number for detailed documentation and record keeping. There are a few different places a tank mix can be created, which includes field analyzer and setup file creator, but the best practice is to use products. In products, under the chemicals tab, Mark the products from the chemicals list that you would like to include in the tank mix by check marking the box next to the product's name. Select the Add button and select Tank Mix. The Create Tank Mix window will appear where you can begin building your tank mix. Enter a name for the tank mix. Note, you can use an existing tank mix to build onto your new tank mix. Check mark the Start with an existing tank mix box and select one of your active tank mixes from your list of tank mixes. You can continue editing your new tank mix after adding in an existing tank mix. Optional, select the crop or crops that the tank mix will be applied to. This will help you identify and manage tank mixes that may be similar but differ slightly because of the ingredients needed for the specific crop or crops. Input an overall application rate for the tank mix. This rate will allow the system to calculate the specific rates, volumes of the products you add to this tank mix. Input the total tank size of the tank mix. Typically, this number is determined by the size of the tank on your applicator or the total area you are applying this tank mix to. Optional, add notes to your tank mix. This is a great place to put any additional information that you may want to share via a PDF file to the individual mixing, the ingredients, or operating the applicator. When you select the button, the Select Products window will appear. You can also define what the desired carrier product will be, defaulted to water. Once the desired products have been added to your tank mix, you can start defining the product-specific details rates, volumes, mixing order in your tank mix. There are two ways to add information to the products. A. Input by application rate. Input a specific rate that is desired for the product to be applied at. B. Input by amount. Input the total amount, volume, of product needed in the total tank mix volume. Note. The non-selected column will be calculated by the other column's inputs and the total tank mix volume. Optional, 
After deciding on an input method and you have input the rates, volumes for each product, you can order the products in a specific order to be displayed on an exported PDF file. Once you have successfully input all the information required to save a tank mix, you can select the Save Tank Mix button. This will add the new tank mix to your active list of tank mixes. Note, if you would like a printout or a PDF file of the tank mix, select the Print button in the lower left-hand corner. Part 2 of this video is next in the playlist, and you will cover how to edit your products, tank mixes, and dry blends. You can find a link to Part 2 in the description. Thank you for watching.